I'm Chris Trott with Team TaylorMade. We're here at the Kingdom Carlsbad, California, and I'm holding the brand new P790 iron. This has been an absolute favorite with you guys out there. No doubt you've tested it at some point, but the engineers here have made some changes to this brand new version of a classic. As you look down at the golf club, you'll see the looks are there. It's as beautiful as ever. Forged hollow body construction, but there are changes. We have now moved the CG, individually mass optimizing each golf club for you by moving weight around the head to give the perfect CG location required for each club. There's a reason I'm stood here for this first look with the longest iron made in this, the three iron. And it's to demonstrate to you how easy it is to launch. Three irons often, they intimidate all of us out there. They can be clubs that are hard to get the elevation and the launch. But as you see here on this tee box, which I always tend to practice at, if I literally just hit a smooth three iron, just watch and notice the launch and the height. And it's not me trying to help the golf ball into the air. But you can see there, well into the clouds, well over the tree line, pitching out there, a good run out, giving me a spin rate that I want to see out of an iron like this, that again dictates how it gets to its ball flight, but also power and energy off the blade. So again, where might I use the three iron? Well, second shots on par fives, par fours maybe, or off the tee. This becomes a useful golf club for you that if you wanna just literally bang a three iron out there, give yourself some yardage and get some nice height on the golf ball. And you can get it coming down softly if needed, or if I wanted to move the ball back a little bit in the stance, no doubt I could get this club just hunting a bit more and giving me that strong ball flight, all as a result of the CG being perfect for this long iron. So again, just one that comes out a bit hotter, and just a more penetrating, flatter ball flight. It's everything you're gonna want in a long iron. If it's a club that you struggle with, it's gonna help you. If you're more of a low handicap golfer and you wanna manipulate this flight, you can still do it. So let's take a look at the rest of the set. So grabbing the seven iron and putting it down against your long iron, you can see that there's a flow through the set. But again, the internals, that mass optimization is where you're gonna see the benefits. You hit a few golf shots, you're gonna get the feel. There's a sound stabilization bar inside this golf club that gives you the feel and the sound that you're gonna enjoy as a player. Off it comes, beautiful high flight. It's gonna give us a spin rate, no doubt, that will give me the accuracy and the consistency that I want. 6,300 out of this, that's what I would expect to see. That individual mass optimization, now in this particular club versus the three iron, is gonna be a little bit higher. That then gives me a slightly higher spin rate, which in turn is gonna give me control and gonna give me a nice peak and a good descent angle. But where else would you test a mid iron? Of course, the dreaded flyer. We hate to see it when that ball shoots off like a rocket. This new CG location in this new P790 should take care of that, but let's demonstrate. So when it comes to testing your set of irons, especially with the P790s, it's great to get into a situation where you can hit irons out of a rough lie like this. We have that at the Kingdom on hand. This, like I said, is the dreaded flyer. It's when the golf ball sits on top of the rough like that, and sometimes it can just jump on us. But this new optimized mass in this golf club, individual and each one, should give us a bit of control. Why is that important? Because if you hit a golf shot like that, you don't want it bounding over the flag, even if you've adjusted for it. This is your mid iron, and that one right there gives us a number 186. It was a slight jumper. It came out the top of the golf club with no spin on it. You can see that. But if I try and just find some consistency, great strike. 
in this golf club, like I mentioned to you, there is a sound bar that gives you that feel and that energy that you're going to get off the blade, 176. So it's in the ballpark of being on the green, there or thereabouts, out of a lie that is unpredictable. I'll give you one more and see if I can keep it in that region, the 180, 185 region. Beautiful flight. Again, look at your peak. Use your eyes whenever you test golf clubs as well. Don't just go off the launch monitor. They were super consistent, 178. So it's given me yardages that would be accurate from a lie like this. If I'm thinking as I look at my yardage book, I've got front edge, middle and back. They're all gonna be in that distance that out of a lie like this, as long as I'm not jumping and going miles long, I'm happy with that and I can play with it. It's imperative when it comes to working a set of irons, hitting shot shapes, getting the turf interaction you want where it can cut through like that and then giving you the peak height. We'll move to a short iron, take a look at them, but I'll be honest, I'm enjoying hitting these, so I'm gonna have one more before we go there. See if I can just give you another demonstration of a perfect yardage out of the rough. Just cuts through so well. Beautiful, same window, good ball flight, lands down there, soft today, 181. I mean, good examples of high 170s to mid 180s out of the rough. You could see the spin rate change based on the strike in the face, based on where it sits in the rough, but the distance and the peak were all pretty accurate. So I'm gonna close with the short iron, which would usually be where you'd start when you look at a set of golf clubs. But in this set, I'm gonna finish with it. Beautiful looking golf club for a pitching wedge. Got that nice shape that you want out of your scoring wedges. Again, the mass has been put in a place that's gonna help you, the golfer. You don't need to worry about that. But what you do wanna do when you hit this is just hit some out there, get your yardage, get the feel as you're gonna build into where you wanna put your wedges from there. Again, looking for that launch window consistency. Great through the turf. That one was a nice late hit, but it came out with a good height to it, giving me a good spin and a nice number there of 122 that I can work off. And again, that was just a smooth one. A Little bit higher maybe in the blade through the turf, nice, not too deep. That says a lot about the sole design and it gives me a number of 119. Consistency on those two clubs is right there out the gate on the full smooth shot. Then what I might do is move around and just hit some half pitches and just test that distance. But you can see here, I know straight away with a couple of golf shots, if I'm getting them landing within three yards, that the consistency is gonna be there and the accuracy is then gonna be there that will give me the confidence to score with these irons. This is an amazing set of golf clubs that can benefit you, the golfer, but you have to go through the process. Be honest with yourself when you hit the shots and make your choices based on numbers and also what you see and feel as a player. Be sure to check them out. It's the P790 and it's at taylormadegolf.com.